and breathe. <laughs> Murfield in West Yorkshire. For Wait the second time. <laughs> for the second time. <laughs> Waiting for the water levels on the river behind us to drop down. Uh, it's only got to go uh, about that far before we can proceed. We've taken a break from filming for a while. Uh, really just to have a bit of space and uh, to relax a bit more and just enjoy the surroundings around us. But we're back now and we're going to do some more filming. So, where have we been, Fran? <laughs> I don't know. It just seems that as soon as we stopped, uh, we made the decision to have a break from videoing, we've had one after another event that would have made really a fantastic great vlog. vlogs. Uh -huh. But the cameras were all just put away because we just needed a little bit of a break. But the first thing that happened was we came off of the uh, Peak Forest, Peak Forest canal. canal onto the Huddersfield Narrow, which was a nightmare canal, wasn't it? Just it, it was 19 and a half miles and 74 locks. And so shallow. Shallow. So shallow. And the, I don't think there's one lock that hasn't got a problem, whether with, with the paddles that won't raise or broken paddles, broken gates, gates that won't open. Oh, it's, it was uh, an interesting canal to say the least, but it was beautiful though, wasn't it? It, it was, was a beautiful canal. And the only downside of it is that one of the moorings that we had on there, which had been recommended by a very famous and very lovely couple of YouTubers, Foxes Afloat, who we had met up with beforehand. I think there's a little bit of footage, isn't there? Yeah, we met up with them, yeah. We met up with them at a fantastic couple of days, but they recommended a mooring spot um, and we actually got our boat sprayed, which was tagged with black spray paint. Um, it wasn't the fox's fault, really. <laughs> but it was no problem. We've uh, got some fantastic advice, got that off, didn't we? Yeah, nail did. varnish remover. Nail varnish remover. Not my nail varnish remover, friend's nail varnish because remover. Because I've always got nail varnish on, haven't yeah. I? <laughs> So that was it was an eventful canal because you get to the highest part of any canal in the UK uh, 650 meters or something like that and you also go through the longest highest deepest tunnel in the canal system Standage tunnel which was uh, a real eye-opener oh, wasn't it it's it was, three yeah. just over three miles of canal tunnel and uh, apart from being boring after the first hundred yards it uh, it was interesting to be honest. It we was had, good fun. Yeah. It was good fun to do that. You have to have a um, pilot go through with you, a Canal and River Trust volunteer goes through with you. You have to wear a hard hat, high vis jacket. and uh, But yeah, it was what, an hour and 40 minutes I think yeah. it took us to get through. Yeah. It didn't seem that long to be honest. Yeah. But here's some footage of it anyway. With some music. And then what happened?
checking in from the last checkpoints of the tunnel. Then after uh, Huddersfield Narrow Canal, we went on the Huddersfield Broad Canal. First then, time we've done double locks. In, in double God knows how long, wasn't locks. it? It seemed really um, weird. But it's quite easy. We only ever open one gate, one side, and it's actually not too bad, is it? But no, we're suddenly fine. on wider canal, and that was okay, wasn't it? Yeah, it wasn't it was uneventful, to be honest. Uh, and then after that, we've ended up on the Calder and Hebble navigation in West Yorkshire. It's um, double width canal again, and it's canal, river, canal, river, canal, river. And uh, we got to the end near Wakefield and couldn't proceed anymore because it was in flood. Yeah. And we sat there for yeah. just over two weeks, not being able to go anywhere. If I had hair, I'd have been pulling it out, something chronic. I was absolutely like a cat on a hot tin roof, wasn't I? I was crawling you up were. the walls. And it wasn't just that it was in flood, that the river was in flood. We pulled up on visitor moorings um, and the water was up level with towpath. And then the next morning, which was a Saturday morning, we got people knocking on the roof of the boat and they were on a residential mooring and they'd come to warn us that when the river comes over the top of the lock, which was about to do, the field floods, then the canal comes over the banks and they said, put the pole in. And I said, well, that's fine. I've heard of people doing this. How do I attach the pole down the side of the boat? They said, you hold it. And I said, what, is that going to be a few hours? And they said, it could be a couple of, <laughs> a couple of days. Jeez. But they were fantastic people on the moorings and they um, told us in the end to move down on some spaces on the residential moorings where there were scaffolding poles already fixed in the bank, weren't there? Yeah, so... And they offered to take us shopping. They were brilliant. We thought we might be there for a day. And it was two weeks two and two and days. Two and a half weeks it was. <laughs> yeah, it was uh, not fun. So in the end, this section of canal uh, became open, so we turned around and came back on ourselves, only to find that the, they closed it again because the levels went up again. So we've had, what, three days now, isn't it? Something like it's, that, it's three or four days. It's been just a little bit uh, stressful because, mm. you know, we don't normally mind where we are and we have completely changed our plans. Normally it wouldn't matter, but because we've got to leave the boat, we need it to be off of the river sections, really. Mm and somewhere safe um, but I think we'll be okay now this as we said this is got to go down another centimetre or two and then we've got about three miles to go before we're off river yeah, sections yeah. haven't we the original plan was to go to Wakefield then on the Air and Calder Canal up to Leeds and then onto the uh, Leeds Liverpool Canal for the rest of winter and Christmas uh, we still hope we're going to get up there, but we've, as we've turned around, we've now got to go down the Rochdale Canal, which apparently is very beautiful, but the, uh, everybody's been warning us about Rochdale. Don't go through Rochdale. Manchester's bad, but oh, nobody dies on there, do they? You know, we'll so just go through just the bits that are not so user-friendly. We'll go through quickly, as we've done with yeah. other places and the pretty bits we will hang around and if we have got to stay there over winter that's what we'll do it's yeah. fine so it looks like uh, it's going to be an interesting canal to visit um, but we'll just get get there and just do it as we normally do anyway we've got five days left yeah. after today before we get married so this will be the last vlog before then yeah. um, well, there'll be some pictures and stuff taken at the wedding right there they will um, and then we've got a little holiday cottage booked on the west coast of Scotland. Quite remote, we're hoping to do some walking and go oh, on the lots beaches. Lots of walking, yeah. I'm looking forward to walking with the dogs on the beach. They're going to really love that. And we'll be back there when we come back. We'll be back hopefully to regular vlogs again and um, let you know about our winter life on board. If there's any of the boat left that's not been burnt by then. <laughs> We've got lots of news coming up. We've got lots to tell you. Things are going to happen in the next six months. We've um, done a bit of thinking, haven't we? Well, yeah, we've, been we've done a lot of thinking. Um, we're not, we're not leaving the waterways, don't panic. Um, but uh, yeah, we're going to make some changes. It's going to be fun, so stick along with us. And uh, enjoy the ride. And thank you so much to everybody who sent so many good wishes for us and our wedding. And so many people have said how we're well matched. I don't know where we get that idea from. Wait to see what we're like as a married couple. It might all yeah. change. <laughs> but thank you so much. I might so turn much. to drink. It's a bit late for that. More. <laughs>
thank you so much. It's really very much appreciated. Yeah, and, it's been great. Uh, great, great we'll, messages. Lovely. We'll lovely make comments. sure there's a photo or two, but don't expect big white weddings because it ain't happening. No, it's just going to be a really <laughs> simple affair. We've booked uh, the registry office in Ludlow in Shropshire. Um, and in fact, it's a room above the library, isn't it? Which is quite appropriate for us. And then we're going back to the pub in the village where the cottage is uh, with uh, close friends and family, yeah. all those that we love and cherish. And uh, just enjoy a few hours in the pub. And we're going to have a spread, a spread. <laughs> spread on, a buffet, <laughs> and uh, just uh, let our hair down and enjoy ourselves for the day. And yeah. we're really looking forward to it, yeah. can't wait. And then two days after that we'll be in Scotland. So we will see you probably about two weeks after this video, I reckon, maybe yeah, a bit longer. Yeah, another couple of weeks and we'll be back on the canal yep. with some more tales. Yes. So enjoy if, watching. Enjoy watching. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up and uh, we'll catch you next time. And we'll try very hard to keep up with your comments. Please keep sending the comments and reply to as many as we possibly can. Thank you very much. Cheers.